Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. <laughs> 